Hi guys, I have a package here from Joann's and I thought I would open it. I got a few things from them and I know that she ships she. I always call her a she um, because the store's name is Joann's and I call Michael's a he. But um, I know that I ordered a few things but I think that she will ship them separately. So this isn't everything in the haul and I don't know if I'll save this until I get all of the rest or kind of depends on how quickly I can upload and how slowly she ships. Things. Oh, well, there's more in here than I thought. Yay, this is exciting. Yay, woohoo! So I did get, if you guys saw my uh, scrapbook.com haul, you'll see that I ordered some of the same kind of things, but I thought this would be really neat. This is called Shimmer Powder. And this, ooh, is Lilac Waterfall. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. I don't exactly know how to use it. It says, oh, it doesn't say. I'm gonna have to look this up because I don't know exactly how to use it. But I think it's a powder. I mean, yeah, it is, it's a powder. Oh my goodness, Shimmer Powder. Oh, I'm excited. And then this is another shimmer powder. And this is in Violet Brocade. So it's a little different. Or actually, it's a lot different. I really like this Lilac Waterfall from the looks of this. So I'm excited to see. But I'll, I'll, I think I'll like that one too. I love blue and purple together. And I love the Nouveau Glitter Markers. And they were having a sale at Joann's, so you know me in sales. I had to, I had to partake. So let's see, what did I get here? I got Ember Glow. This has some pretty colors. Ah. And this has well, it doesn't tell me the names and the colors. That's so weird. I don't know the name of the colors, but it has this beautiful orange, a beautiful like red, and then a beautiful orange or yellow. So these colors. They really are pretty. The ones at scrapbook.com, they had a little sticker on them with the name, but I have no idea what these are called. None at all. Ember Glow. And then I think I got two of these because I got one from scrapbook.com and then one now because I wanted to gift one. And then I got two of these. Yeah, see, this one has little stickers on it. Um, and these are the colors. Those are really pretty. So it has Silver Mist, Blue Bliss, and Imperial Blue. Very pretty. And I did get two of those, so I'm going to gift these two. I'm even keeping these because I'm thinking I could use these on something. I really like it. And then what did I get? This is a big container of something. Mica Mist. Ideal for adding shimmering sparkle to creative project. Shake before using. Micro Mist Spray is ideal for adding that shimmering sparkle to your creative project. That uniquely engineered solution contains mica powder and a colored pigment which adhere to the surface. Spray directly into light or dark card through a stencil or over an existing embellishment to produce a beautiful luster effect. And this is in the color Antique Gold. Let's just try it, shall we? I have a piece of black right here. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty that is. Oh wow. So that's what it looks like on black and 
I'm sure that if I did it on the white, it would be really pretty too, but I don't have a piece of white handy. Do I? Surely. Here's a piece of white cardstock. Let's just go for it. Very pretty. That is really nice, and I think it dries pretty quickly too, according to my thumb. <laughs> yes, it does. So that is awesome. I love that it dries quickly. That is so nice. It's already dry. Yay! So that's a good purchase. And this is some embellishment mousse. I thought that sounded very interesting. I'm sure it's covered, so I won't be able to get into it yet. I'm going to wait until I actually need it. But it said, for a textured finish, apply with a spatula. For a smooth finish, apply with a soft cloth. Embellishment mousse is water-based. Add water to soften the consistency of the mousse. So I don't know exactly what it's going to do, but I think it's pretty and it adds a metallic dimension and I think it looks really nice. So that'll be fun to play with. I need to make another junk journal or something because all these fun new things I have are perfect for it. This is a deluxe adhesive clear drying craft glue. Easy to use, reliable and versatile craft glue dries clear dry on a flat surface, leave to dry for 24 hours. Well, that's not very quick, is it? But I thought I'd get it just because it was on sale and it was Nuvo and I was just buying all these other Nuvo things and I thought, well, you know what, I'll give it a try. But I'm not sure it has some big shoes to fill with my art glitter. But uh, this is actually a bigger container than I thought. This is two ounces. And then finally, in this box, Is that everything in the box? Yeah, I think so. This is some Nuvo Glimmer Paste. And I got some other Glimmer Paste. Look at this, I have red, white, and blue now. And I just think it is beautiful. So I am super excited to try it. Look at that sparkle. Oh, this will look good for like snow, and so will this. And this is just perfect for red glimmer, or red glitter, like Rudolph's nose, or you can tell I'm thinking Christmas right now, but oh my gosh. These are so pretty. I'm really excited to give those a whirl. Test them out. I really am happy with this so far. Let me go ahead and... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Let me just... Oh, wow, look at that. I, I have the feeling I need to add water to it, but I'm not sure why I think that. Oh my goodness, that's really pretty. Just like that, I think I like that one better. Let's see, I do have some water. Let me spray that. Oh my gosh, do you see that color coming up? This is pretty quick drying too. So I don't know, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to use it yet, but it's kind of neat looking. I like it just like that. I love the shimmer and the glitz. Ooh, and then you can see on this one how it has some purple and some blue on there. I don't know which one that is. Probably the Violet Baroque. Let's see, let's, let's play a little bit with that. You know what, maybe if the surface was wet first. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, this is the violet brocade. Look how it like totally changes the color of it. Oh my gosh, that is some coolness. So let me put a little bit of water down and then do this. 
Nope, it doesn't work so well just throwing it on the water, I think. Yeah, I think the better bet is to put it down and then to add water. Oh my goodness. So you can make it kind of a purple, but then look at that, how it's like blue and purple, and I think that's what it's supposed to do. So I didn't use much. I'm, now I'm using the waterfall one. Ooh, I got a big, huge squirt that time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I do think it's really pretty though. And this one was the Lilac Waterfall. They're very similar and it just has less, I guess, intense color because this is the Lilac Waterfall and this is the Violet Brocade. I kind of like it a little bit better on the white than I do on the black, but they're both beautiful. Look at that. That's so funny. Let me get my microfiber cloth and try to wipe this up. Now, if my microfiber cloth doesn't pick this up, I don't know what will. Okay, so it did a pretty good job. All right, let's look at these two while we're at it, shall we? So with these, it, I think it does say to shake first. Shake before you, so let me just start shaking all of these. Shake it up, shake it up. just kind of do this until it comes down and you can start to see it coming down so I know it's coming It's a coming, it's a coming. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So this is this dark blue color. Oh, my goodness. And the thing about it, it says it dries instantly. Now, that one, I can see it's got a little bit, but for the most part, it's right. This one is Silver Mist. Let me just do a couple of them at the same time. Here's the silver mist. Oh, whoops. Doesn't look too much different from that one on there. But on here it does. Oh gosh, now I don't know which lid goes with which. Maybe it doesn't matter. And then this one is Blue Bliss. Oh, that's pretty. So there's those three on there, and then here's the three on the black, and they all look very similar on black. Which is good to know, good to know. Now I have these three.
and you only have to do this the first time. I don't know if you guys have ever done like a paint pen or anything, but it's the same thing. This one is starting. This one is the yellow one. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, I love that. This one is like the sunflower or the orangey yeah. color. It's trying. Oh, here it comes. Okay, so here's the orange. And then this one is looks like a brick red. Ah, there now it feels better. Still doesn't show up very well on the black, but let's see how it looks. I'll hold them out well. So this one is the yellow, the orange, and the red. And this one is the yellow, the orange, and the red. And they all kind of look the same. I can see a little bit of difference between the yellow and the red, but and a little bit on that one. But the rest all kind of look silver. So that's really good to know on black. They don't really hold their color up but they sure do on white and they look really pretty even the icicle color shows up nicely and I think these are really pretty and I could save these and use it for something cool and make something but honestly guys I'm not gonna just because I'm not feeling that creative right now and I don't want to have to keep them around and keep moving them around but they are really pretty and I can create them again with no problem so well, there we go. That is what I got from Joann's. I hope that you guys will try it if you guys are interested in the Nouveau markers. I think they are fabulous. They are my new favorite find. And this is pretty cool too. I mean, it's all just neat stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.